You can usually find us in Southeast Asia or somewhere tropical, but because of the coronavirus, we decided to travel our own country. We bought a van and hope to go on a two to three month journey. So make sure to follow along. Yeah. We'll have a whole United States series, mostly on the West Coast of America. This is our 2013 Ford Transit Connect with 166,000 miles. It's a lot of miles, but we got it checked out by mechanics. It is beautiful. In the back here, it's about six feet. So you could do this conversion in most cars like a minivan we were thinking about doing. We just want to make the most of the space that we have. It may look really big to you, but it's not really that big. No. So a lofted bed with some space under for storage and as well we'll have a toolie on top. For those of you beginners trying to do this, reach out to family members or friends that know how to build stuff because we sure don't and that's what we're doing. They might have the equipment that you don't. They might have knowledge that you don't. So utilize your friends and family guys. Another thing that we really kind of pride ourselves on is doing things for an affordable price. Obviously we're going to have to spend some more money in different areas, but overall we're going to try to show you all the pricing top to bottom. So if you ever want to do this, you know it's possible. Let me tell you one thing. If we can do it, we then you it. can do it too. You guys That's can do the it. point. Yes. So over this trip, we're going to show you we are everything. Smart, but not, uh, Look at us. We can't do anything. So if, if we can do it, you guys can do it, basically. Yeah. The end. Yeah. The end. Here we start our adventures. <laughs> All right. Lay open up the other side. And our first order of duty is to take out these shelves and then the partition right behind the driver's seat. But yeah. this is it, guys. We don't have a name for it yet. It should just be the Woot Woot Mobile. Yeah, it is the Woot Woot Mobile. We just took out the shelves and the partitions back here. It looks good. We got a clean slate to work on now. This is what we took out. So these are the shelves that were in the middle. And then this was right behind the driver and the passenger seat up front. went to Home Depot and Lowe's and got some wood and everything. We finally figured out what kind of wood we want to use for the ceiling and we're going to go ahead and get started on the ceiling today. Kind of making today officially our first day of building. Okay guys, now we're insulating. What we're going to do is just measure out the van, glue it up there and uh, that way the heat will stay out. To get the insulation to stick to the top, we're using this thing called liquid nails. It's an all surface glue type formula. This is gonna keep the heat out, it's gonna keep cold out. It's what we need for this road trip because it's gonna get either really hot or even really cold when we go up to like Glacier National Park or up in Oregon at night, it gets a little chilly. This is what we're doing for a water break. We got some Corona lights. Also, at this point in the video, if you're having fun or finding it useful, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. We're gonna have so much fun with you guys. Yeah, this is the start of a very long journey. This middle metal bar over here is a little bit lower, so we need to make platforms as thick as it, and to do that, we double up this wood. I just got some magnets to show this as an example of what we're gonna be doing. This is how the wood's gonna look. It's gonna look so good. It's gonna look like that. Up here, hopefully down here as well. We sure don't know what's gonna happen. We're hoping this this stays with the glue. Sawing for the first time in his life. I'm keeping pressure on her, okay? It's safety. So scary. Just so you guys know, we came up with this idea on the spot today. We we're just going through ideas, and once you actually sit down with each other, don't listen to too many opinions, and just yeah. find some inspiration on YouTube. Just think about what you want, what you want it to look like, and you could figure it out with some brain power. I didn't think we had it in us, but I'm really proud of Anna and I. So we're showing Anna's dad the van right now, and he has some questions for us. My name is Faith. However, what is the room for my grandkid? Oh my gosh, Boyan, <laughs> who, what do you think is going on here? We're starting day 
day two of our Ford Transit Connect conversion. We got it out there. And today we are putting up the ceiling inside and we're also staining the wood we have. We kind of got into a predicament with the stain because the wood we got, well, let me just have Anna tell you guys. So originally I wanted like a lighter wood for this beach vibe, but we ended up going with this purple wood. It's all we could find that was a cedar plank. And the reason we wanted this is we wanted a light wood and we ended up staining it with an ebony stain. So instead of a lighter wood all throughout the van, we're doing a dark wood for the ceiling. And then this white paneling will be throughout. So it'll be like kind of a great contrast, I think. I'm very excited. Now we're gonna get to staining the wood and then we're gonna build the ceiling. Big, big day, let's do it. Anna just finished the two middle beams that we're gonna put towards the front. It looks beautiful and it's drying right now. Big news, we got part of the ceiling up. Actually, two parts of the ceiling up. The middle part, and then the light's gonna go right there. So there's 18 more pieces to go, so 20 in total. Then we're gonna drop off the car at my uncle's because he's gonna make the box for the bed. He's willing to help us, so we owe you a lot, Jeff. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I kissed that face, Anna. What's wrong with you, Palmer? <laughs> If you don't break up with your significant other after building something like this, then that means you're in it for the long haul because this is such a headache. We didn't fight that much, but just a little bit. We're excited to have officially gotten this light up in the middle. We've seen a lot of people cut it out, but we wanted to keep it because I thought it looked really sleek. We have three more panelings on each side to do. It is day four of converting this baby behind us, our little Transit Connect. Today's a big day because yesterday my uncle worked on it and did the bed frame for us. So it's very secure and stable in there. Anna just rode in the back and laid down when I was driving. You gotta check it out. Woot woot, yip yip. Here is the bed reveal. Anna! Hey guys! Show them. Ooh, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Making the bed this sturdy and this great that quick, couldn't have done it without him. Earlier in our video, Jake helped us remove stuff from the back, but he's how you doing? Back here. Jake, how tall and big are you? I'm 6'3", 200 and I'm getting down to about 225. I fit perfectly in this. Yeah. This is awesome. Jake and I are in the back here. Anna's gonna drive, or someone's gonna drive, can and we're gonna see how stable it is. Isn't it fun back there? So right now, nice. Jake Boy, and I are laying. Mattress, First fun? test drive with the mattress, it is a success. First time reaction, what do you guys think? It actually fits Jake. I know, that's crazy. This is Connor, it's his 30th birthday, so that's why everyone's in this weekend, and Sloan, his girlfriend's back there trying to hide. Oh, oh, oh yeah, the bumper's broken. You okay? Are you okay? Uh, uh, we got that on video, we got yes. that on video. <laughs> As you could see, my whole family approved of the bed, so good job, Uncle Jeff, you did great. Actually, Unreal, you got this done in a day, a couple hours. It's really, really sturdy. This is what it looks like with the mattress off, the futon mattress that we have. Now we are gonna sand this entire thing. This is an electric sander. It's awesome. <laughs> Now we're gonna finish up the ceiling as much as we can with what we have right now. Let's do it. Wait, oh, Anna, stop, stop, stop. They're all coming off. If you guys can hear me, everyone keeps coming in our car because we did this all with liquid nails glue. And, and they in. keep. Oh, you're so sturdy. <laughs> it's sturdy. Let's just keep pulling it. And I thought if you keep pulling it, it won't be sturdy anymore. Yeah. So we're scared that it's gonna melt because the heat. Yeah, how do you guys think it looks? This has been so much fun. We've been only going at it for like four days. That's pretty impressive to get this all done. We're not good at perfect, we're, we're good at faking it till you make it. Everything's gonna melt off and hit us when we're sleeping. Just a fact of life. Look how good that wood looks. Anna's just finishing up the stain. Starting day five of our Ford Transit Connect conversion. We got the bed in, we got the ceiling up, and now we're gonna do the siding inside. I'm gonna have Anna tell you what it's all about. We are so lucky we found these awesome cedar planks, kind of what we were originally going for, because the color is easier to dye than this was. We found this at Lowe's, and they were six of these for $20. So I would have originally gone with this if you are looking to do it. A box of these is the way to go. We could have used it for the ceiling. Not the point, the point is we have it now. We're using this for the siding and going to paint it white today. Yeah, so first we gotta measure everything, cut it with the saw that we have, and then paint it. And then once it's dry, we're gonna put it up. We just have to take one more bolt down before we can put these things up. We're gonna let them dry and then take it from there. We are about to start on the siding and we're gonna have some fun. This is day five. We're definitely tired. Day five, 
was by far the hardest day because we had the whole deciding. It was so dang hard. Starting to come together in those creases and where you could see glue and stuff. We're too tired to think about it. So we're gonna look at different options at Walmart or so and then figure it out. You saw we had a hard time putting these bad boys up. The siding took forever all day to finish. So luckily we're done with that. Day six coming at you live right now. And we're gonna be covering up some glue that doesn't look so great on the walls and also decorating. There are definitely some imperfect spots in here. It's not a house, it's a weird shaped car. So you can't really fit rectangular things in round areas. There's gonna be some holes. And the best way we decided to cover these holes up is with plants. I got all these exotic little flower plants at Michael's and the Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree. Now Anna's sticking these plants through those tiny holes and it works perfectly. See, it just covered up the hole and it goes with the whole car. By these white panels, there's still some white open spaces and there's some glue where we made it messy. So we came up with this idea uh, to put some fabric there, but instead we decided broken seashells on poster board and we're gonna just glue it to the side. It'll add a nice texture and beachy vibe to the car. We're gonna put these up also in the time lapse. For the doors, we're gonna use the same wood that we have left over from the ceiling. We got a lot of the decorations up. Not perfect yet, but we're getting there. I love the seashells. We were deciding between this for the trimming of the windows or rope. I think rope goes more with everything. I know I'm a designer now. Oh my gosh, guys. First of all, I am so tired because we've been working non-stop at this. Two, I keep thinking to myself, how did we get to this point? At first, I remember us being like, yeah, we're just gonna camp and get a car. And now we like completely <laughs> redid an entire van and I'm, I'm really happy we did. I'm not gonna lie, it's not even that this van is ours, it's that we built it and that's crazy to me. I don't know how we Guys, did it. I'm right behind the camera and I'm just speechless with what we've done. I'm cracking up because we don't know how we got here. We keep saying to ourselves, we just blacked out. We don't know what happened or when. This is gonna be our first big reveal. We have a few tweaks to make here and there, things that you probably wouldn't notice, but we do. So here is our first reveal. By the way, our number one rule in the van, no picking your nose. It oh. looks just beautiful sleep. in here. I'm not even traveling. I'll just sleep in this in my parents' driveway. <laughs> just look at that. Everything goes so well together. Talk a little bit about where you thought you were going to be right now. We would have probably just come back from Serbia and gone to Malaysia, Bali, or the Philippines. We wanted to end our year of travel in one of those three countries. Obviously, that did not happen. If you want to learn more about why we came home and why we had to stay home, you can click right here. Very sad. Yeah, it's been a crazy journey, but you can't let it knock you down. And I will say one thing, my best friend, Alexa, would be so proud of me right now. Cause I this am, is something she would have done. She would love this. Mm -hmm. 